PDP power PDP power atiku 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 the former vice president the former vice president former governors here present fellow PDP members Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today, after listening to all the goodwill messages, one can only be sober and recall that we need a savior, that we need an administrator, that we need a good listener, that we need somebody with programs to help Nigeria. You cannot help Nigeria if you don't love her. You can only love her by understanding her. And that is what Atiku has done. He has studied, he has learned, and he appreciates Nigeria. And he will do more for Nigeria. I have heard some people say they are owners of Nigeria, but I understand they are not owners of Nigeria. They are believers in Nigeria. And you need to believe in Nigeria to be able to do something positive and good for Nigeria like Atiku has done. How do we make sure that PDP wins this election? Today, the first declaration and then followed by delegates. So you are here. Go back to your local government. Go back to your ward. And speak to the members and those delegates that will come to Abuja and tell them you are stand on who to vote for. Forget about zoning. Because when somebody tried to break the, the tradition of PDP, we zoned chairmanship to the south for two tenures. But somebody, in his wisdom, thought that by forcing the, the chairmanship to the north, that he will automatically have an advantage. No, in that decision, we also said every Nigerian has a right to contest. But since the party has put up a committee to look at the issues, we will say that we will wait for that committee. But that is the understanding that all of us had. We must secure the lives and property of Nigerians. That is the main responsibility of government. And that is what Atiku has vowed to do. Gone were the days when many of us used to sleep in the daytime so that you can travel in Nigeria at night. As a young man, I used to ride a motorcycle, Yamaha 100 from Sokoto to Mina, through Zamfara to Binungwari, through Binungwari to Kagara and to Mina. Today, that is impossible to do. Today, that is impossible to do. Bandits have come. Boko Haram is still there. Bombers are all over the country. We need somebody who appreciates, who understands, who can solve these problems. We must create a conducive environment for our youth to secure gainful employment and to be excellent entrepreneurs. We also must create economic activities for our young people and for Nigeria. Today, yesterday, I read in one of the papers, and it is unfortunate if it is true, that 75% of our budget is lost to corruption. We need an environment and institutions that will be able to fight poverty, will be able to fight corruption, 
and will be able to give us confidence. We need a functional and qualitative education in this country. It is very important that we vote PDP, very important that we nominate a winner, and that winner is Atikwa Ubakar. Thank you very much.